So when my son was 13 years of age, he came up to me one day and he said, hey dad, can I get an Xbox 360? Now I believe everybody that you come across when you're trying to present to them or persuade them, they have a story going on in their head. And my story is this at that point. My story is I'm sick and tired of how much Nintendo he plays and I want him out playing ball more. But yet he asked for an Xbox 360. So I said, well, why do you want one? And he said, well, Matt has one. And if Matt has one and I can get one, then I can play with Matt. It would be really great. I said, no, that won't be happening. There's no Xbox 360. Two weeks later, he came up and he said, Dad, can I get an Xbox 360? Now, I got to tell you, nothing has changed in my mind. The kid doesn't, doesn't play enough ball. He's playing too much Nintendo. He's not going to get one. But I said, why do you want one? And he said, he gives me IT talk. He said, well, it's got the 360, 365 with the Syntrax modulator. I said, no, you're not going to get one. So then, two weeks after that, he came up to me and he said, hey, Dad, let me ask you a question. I said, sure, Colin, what's up? He said, Microsoft is a client of yours, aren't they? And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm a smart kid. Yeah, he's pretty impressed, huh? And he goes, Dad, don't you think, or he said, did you realize that Microsoft makes the Xbox 360? Now, this conversation is going somewhere, and I'm not sure I like where it's going. But I said, well, what do you, I don't know who makes the Xbox 360. Why? What's your point? He said, Dad, don't you think that if we had an Xbox 360 and you knew more about some of their products when you're out there doing those workshops and programs, I mean, wouldn't that be a good thing? Well, guess what? Welcome into the house, Xbox 360. The sale was made. Because what he realized was the most important thing in persuading and presenting your ideas is to know what's in it for your audience. So at first he had no luck, the second time he had no luck, and only when he got inside my head and knew what was important to me did he have luck. So when you're giving a presentation, you gotta be thinking in advance, if I can help somebody out, if I can provide more good for them, for example, if you say, we can make you more money, well that's providing good for them, they're gonna listen to you, or if you can lower the bad things for them, for example, if you say, we can lower your stress level by doing such and such, that too is a value proposition and they're gonna be quick to react that way. So really, really important, know what's in it for your audience.